I mean it, Tom. I'm not suggesting Bobby moves out of this house. I am saying she moves out. Tonight, or in the morning at the latest. I'm sorry if you're disappointed about going out to dinner. This is not about going out to dinner. Faith, you're angry at me, and you're taking it out on Poppy. I am not angry at you. I am angry about the resemblance Poppy has to a girl that died seven years ago, and the effect that that resemblance is having on our marriage. But that isn't Terry's fault. Terry's fault? Or Poppy's, um... I'm sorry, but I keep getting them confused. Yes, and why is that happening? Oh, for heaven's sake, Faith, it's no mystery that when I look at Poppy, she reminds me of Terry, that's all. You think about Poppy and Terry, you talk about Poppy and Terry. Well, it's very clear to me that you would rather be with Poppy or Terry. Now, it isn't that simple. You know I love you, Faith, but I have to know about Terry. I... I can't relax until I understand. People have similar appearances. But not like this. I mean, in some strange way, she's becoming more like Terry every day. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe she's doing it on purpose? Why would you want to do something like that? Why? Because consciously or unconsciously, the girl is desperately searching for an identity. And you, Tom Desmond, have just given her one. Teresa Donahue. No. Okay, I'm not arguing about this. All I'm saying is that we either find her a hotel room or a nice apartment for her to live in. Well, and then we figure out what to do. That's best for all of us. I don't want her living outside this house. Well, I don't want her in this house. Now, do I tell her alone or are you coming with me? She wears a blouse the color of roses, simple, with a small, round car. She looks as if she stepped out of a book or a dream. If that's so, I don't ever want to wake up. I don't ever want to lose her. I love you, Teresa. What are you doing? Oh, I was, I was fixing dinner. No, I mean, what are you reading? Is that Tom's journal? Yes. Let me see it. Don't close it. Expression on your face while you were reading. I don't believe it. Her hair loose around her face. She wears the blouse the color of roses. Simple with a small round collar. Is that a new blouse, Poppy? Yes. Tom? Will you come into the kitchen, please? What's the matter? When I came into the kitchen just now, I found Poppy reading your journal. Mrs. Desmond, please. I'd like you to listen to this. It's something that you wrote to Teresa. She wears a blouse the color of roses. Simple, with a round collar. Poppy bought this blouse today. It is new, isn't it? It is, but you're making it sound so awful. You're trying to dress like Teresa Donahue, aren't you? Why shouldn't I? Don't you think that we're all confused enough with this resemblance? You're confused. Have you any idea what it's like to be an orphan and not know who you are or where you came from or, or who your parents were or anything? It's like finding a family for Poppy. But you aren't Thank Teresa you. Donahue. I know that. But I could be a relative or a distant cousin or something. The detectives are working on that right now. There must be some reason why I look and feel like Teresa. I know I bought this blouse because it was like hers, but I didn't do it to do something bad. I did it because I'm trying to find out who I am. What else have you done to make yourself look more like Teresa? 
Well, it says in there that she wore her hair down long, so I put mine down. Does it look like her? Oh, certainly, yes, but... Oh, I know that she was dark and unfair. Yes. Making yourself look like Teresa Donahue is not going to help you find your own identity. That's true, Poppy. I guess I hadn't realized. But you being here, it must be just as hard on you as it is on Tom. Oh, no. No, it's been the most wonderful thing that has ever happened to me. Try to listen, please. I think for your sake, as well as Tom's, and mine, it's important that you find another place to live. Oh, no. Oh, please don't. Please don't send me it's away. Like... I'll never look at it again, I swear. Poppy, we're not sending you away forever. There'll be someplace near. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, please, I'll do anything you want. Just don't kick me out, please. Poppy, listen to me. We'll find a nice hotel room or an apartment. Something nice for you to live in. And, of course, we'll, we'll take care of the rent. I'll also pay back the loan for whatever you owe the orphanage. Then you will be free and clear to find out who you are. That's very generous of you. But what's most important to me right now is not to lose what I found in myself. You won't be losing anything. But I will. If you're not here to tell me about Teresa and, and the Donahues in Ireland, you I'll be all alone. A detective's report soon. <laughs> and you can also talk to Tom. Well, how far will I have to go? Okay, I have an idea. My old apartment is available. The tenant left last month. You can have it. Free. Your old apartment? Yes, it's, it's, a, it's a funny little place. It's on top of a roof. It's uh, three blocks from here. I think you like it. It's even got a hidden bedroom. I didn't know you had an apartment. I think that's a good idea. You can stay there until you find something of your own. Well, I think if I have to leave, that does sound like the best solution. Wonderful. I'll take you over first thing in the morning. I'm sorry if I sounded angry before. It's just that I was scared. But Tom's apartment doesn't frighten me. And I guess I am causing trouble here. It's settled then. If I'm your tenant, you can't forget me. As if I could. 